Ever wonder why truckers are often labeled as nasty? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey that'll make you go you more times than you'd like. Our society has a knack for creating stereotypes and truckers have certainly not been spared. When you hear the word trucker, what comes to mind? Big burly men with beards, tattoos, and a love for the open road? Maybe. But then there's the side of trucking that's less about the open road and more about, well, the less glamorous habits some truckers have been known to adopt. Now, before we get too far into this, let's make one thing clear. Not all truckers are like this. In fact, many are clean, respectful individuals who just happen to have a job that involves a lot of time on the road. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on those truckers who've earned the nasty label. Think about it. These individuals spend hours upon hours cooped up in a small space with little access to facilities. So what happens? Well, they get creative. And by creative, we mean they find some interesting solutions to their bathroom needs. Ever heard of the infamous pee bottles or, heaven forbid, the crap bags? Yeah, it's a thing, but that's not all. There's also the quickie shower at the Fuel Island, the nose-picking phenomenon, and the trashy trucks filled with all sorts of rubbish. And let's not forget about the lot lizard aftermath and the spittacular behavior. Sounds pretty gnarly, right? But hey, don't take our word for it. We're about to give you a humorous and somewhat sarcastic deep dive into each of these habits. We promise it's going to be an interesting ride. So, if you've ever been curious about the unglamorous side of trucking, stay tuned because we're about to dive right into the deep end. First up on our list of cringeworthy trucker habits, the infamous pee bottles. Now, let's not jump to conclusions. We're not talking about a fine vintage of Chateau de Urine here, folks. No, we're talking about the unfortunate and all too common practice of some truckers relieving themselves into bottles and leaving them at truck stops. A delightful sight, wouldn't you say? You might be wondering, why on earth would anyone do this? Well, when you're on a tight schedule and the next rest stop is miles away, the humble plastic bottle can seem like a godsend. But leaving these golden souvenirs behind, that's where we draw the line. It's a habit that's as perplexing as it is unsanitary. And let's not forget the poor, unsuspecting soul who picks up what they think is an abandoned bottle of apple juice. Yikes! Next time you see a suspicious-looking bottle at a truck stop, you might want to think twice before picking it up. Ever thought of taking a shower at a fuel island? No? Well, some truckers certainly have. Now imagine this. You've been on the road for hours, maybe days, and you roll up to a fuel island. You're tired, you're sweaty, and there's no truck stop shower in sight. What's a trucker to do? Well, some of them have come up with a rather innovative, albeit unconventional, solution. The quickie shower. Yes, you heard right. These daredevils of the open road simply grab a hose and give themselves a quick hose down right there at the fuel island. It's a sight to behold, let me tell you. There they are in broad daylight, hosing down their grime and sweat, not a care in the world. I mean, talk about making the most out of a situation. But hey, when you're constantly on the move, sometimes you have to get a little creative with your hygiene routine. Who knew fuel islands could double as a shower stall, right? Moving on to habit number three, the nose picking phenomenon. Now, we all know that driving for hours on end can get a little monotonous. The open road, the hum of the engine, the constant vigilance for traffic, it can all lead to a wandering mind. And when the mind starts to wander, the fingers often follow. And for some reason, they seem to have a magnetic attraction to the nostrils. But it's not just the act of nose picking that's noteworthy here. Oh no, it's what comes next that really raises eyebrows. These nose gold miners, instead of using a tissue or a napkin, prefer the convenience of their own pants to wipe their findings. That's right, a quick swipe on the trouser leg and they're ready to roll again. Efficiency at its finest, perhaps, but not exactly the epitome of hygiene. You might want to reconsider shaking hands with a trucker after this one. Now let's talk about something that's hard to miss. The trashy trucks. Ah, the cab of a trucker. A sight to behold. A place where the magic happens. Or should I say, a place where the trash happens. It's a wonder how some truckers manage to find the steering wheel amidst the sea of rubbish. You've got your half-eaten burgers, empty coffee cups, crumpled up receipts, and who knows what else. The dashboard, in particular, is a sight to behold. It's like a mini landfill in and of itself. You've got your soda cans, your chip packets, your candy wrappers. Some truckers even have a collection of bobblehead dolls bobbing away amidst the clutter. It's almost like an art piece, a still-life portrait of chaos. 
Now, you might be thinking, why don't they just use a trash bag? Well, that's a great question. You see, it seems like some truckers have a different definition of trash can. For them, it's not a plastic bag or a metal bin, it's the entire truck. The floor, the seats, the dash, everything is fair game. And it's not just the inside of the truck that's a trash haven. Oh no, the exterior gets its fair share of the action too. Plastic bags stuck in the grill, old raggedy tarpaulins flapping in the wind, and let's not forget the classic, the apple core thrown out the window that ends up stuck on the antenna. But you know what? There's a silver lining to all this. The trashy truck is a testament to the trucker's life on the road. It's a symbol of the long hours, the countless miles, the sleepless nights. It's a badge of honor, a mark of dedication. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself to make it all seem a bit less, well, trashy. So remember, a truck isn't just a vehicle, it's also a mobile trash can. Brace yourselves for this one, folks. The Lot Lizard Aftermath. Now, we've seen some pretty unsavory habits so far, but this one might just take the cake. Picture this, a trucker, satisfied after a night of, shall we say, companionship, casually discards his used condom on the ground. It's a sight that'll make you cringe, but it's an unfortunate reality at many truck stops. This habit not only paints an unpleasant picture, but also poses a serious health hazard. It's a stark reminder of the need for proper disposal facilities and awareness among truckers. And let's not forget about the poor souls who have to clean up after them. It's a thankless job, but someone's got to do it. This is one of those habits that make you wonder, what were they thinking? It's a question that might never be answered, but it sure adds to the colorful tapestry of truck stop tales. And you thought you've seen everything at a truck stop? Oh, last but not least on our list, the spectacular behavior of some truckers. Now we've all seen it. The trucker leaning casually against his rig, a handful of sunflower seeds in one hand, spitting the shells onto the ground. There's a certain artistry to it, you know, the flick of the tongue, the precision aim, the nonchalant disregard for cleanliness. It's like watching a cowboy in a modern day Western, except instead of tumbleweeds, we've got diesel fumes. And let's not forget about the tobacco chewers. These guys take the cake, or rather the spit cup, they're not just spitting on the ground, they're leaving behind a little soupy surprise for some unsuspecting passerby. It's like a minefield out there, folks. So next time you step into a truck stop, keep your eyes peeled for these spectacular displays of human behavior. Truck stops, the only place where it's socially acceptable to spit on the ground. All right, folks, let's take a quick and hopefully not too disgusting recap of what we've covered today. We've journeyed through the peculiar wilderness of trucker habits, starting with those infamous pee bottles. I mean, who needs a bathroom when you have an empty soda bottle, right? Then we dove headfirst into the quickie shower phenomenon. Nothing like a good hose down at the fuel island to start your day. We also uncovered the nose picking phenomenon, a pastime as old as trucking itself. And let's not forget the trashy trucks, where the motto seems to be, why throw it away when you can display it on your dash? The aftermath of a night with a lot lizard also made our list, leaving us with the unsavory image of used, let's just say, party favors littering the ground. And finally, the spectacular behavior of sunflower seed and tobacco spitting. Well, there you have it. The next time someone tells you truckers are nasty, you'll know exactly why they might think so.